Dave Speaker. Um, welcome to. I'm not there yet. Welcome to my workshop. Um, it's pretty cluttered up at the moment because I decided I would give you guys uh, a <clears throat> thrift finds video. I don't find enough to do a month, uh, weekly thrift video. Like it would be me, be, you know, saying I found a night finder and nothing much else I couldn't do it so I'm planning on doing a monthly thrift find because I go out quite often and you know in the past few months uh, since I started thrifting because I've only started thrifting I think since winter I go out this is a definitely um, a decent area for uh, thrifting uh, as you're about to see um, this is uh, pretty much, this isn't what I've found this month. This is pretty much the beginning of it. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I'm really happy that I found. And uh, we'll just go from there. Because uh, there's some really nice goodies in and about through here. Uh, okay. Where to start? Start on the desk. Start out with something good. How about the Zerg Blaster? Uh, I, I'm still a little bit on the fence with this thing. I guess I need the proper ammo. It sounds beefy as all get out and I really like that. Everybody goes nuts over these. I found it for four bucks. I figured it's definitely coming home with me. These don't do anything. They're just cosmetic. So um, probably gonna be talking to uh, some people soon about getting ammo for this. Uh, <coughs> uh. Let's see, what else? Uh, we'll just start here. How's that? We'll get stuff that's on the desk out of the way. Rampage! Just picked this up the other day from the outlet. And in case you're unaware, there's two that are pretty much identical to this. The Rampage is a direct plunger system. The Raider is an old indirect plunger system where the plunger goes over the back. Not as air efficient. But it's still pretty cool. So finding the Rampage oh, with the um, Direct Plunger is pretty good because um, I want to like the Rampage. I want to like it, but this whole cliff off to the side thing, it just kind of, I don't know, it rubs me the wrong way. I mean, I guess I could, you know, hack this sucker down into a into the lefty and do it like a bolt action pistol which people have done you can totally search those uh, out um, bolt action pistol with the side it's, it's this sidewell thing dude I just can't I just can't get over it I mean I know that there are people who adore the rampage they love them that's great I just can't get over the sidewell thing um, I found a fire strike because I'll, I'll always pick up a fire strike because, I mean, it's a fire strike. This one is missing the battery door because I needed it to finish Deadpool. Which, the lighting is crap. The lighting is crap. Here, Mr. Light. Come here. Come here, Mr. Light. All right, let's see. Let's, can we get yay, the Deadpool fire strike? There should be a link to this sucker on... Um, clowny nerve if he ever finally decides to upload the thing but I did not find that that is not supposed to be in this video but this fire strike this fire strike actually has is going over here because there's something that's going to be done to that thing in the very near future <coughs> red dark tag mag strike now I love me a mag strike so let's pump this sucker up There's the overpressure release valve. You know what? Why not? There's like darts all over the floor. Let's go ahead and load this puppy up real quick. Fire it off. And because there's something that's weird with this one. It's a little wonky. It doesn't seem to want to fire fast. I have another one uh, and a yellow one. And 
it fires pretty quick, and I like it a lot. <laughs> Only problem with that one is um, it has a slight leak. You, uh, we don't bother with you. Okay, so bunch of randoms. There's uh, rebels and all kinds of fun in there. I'm gonna go ahead and yeah, that'll work. We're gonna fire it off uh, over this way and. Oh, it didn't even, didn't even go the full route. It was still one in there. So, something not exactly quite right about this mag strike, but a little tinkering and we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see, do it. Oh yeah, we were right here on the desk first. Um, I found this and only the front half of the Super Soaker Quick Blast. It was at the outlet, so that it's cheap you know when it goes by weight so I wasn't really gonna I wasn't gonna fret over something like this where because this section is what holds the pump and the uh, tank which I can actually hear still working which is nice so have that on hand in case you know eventually I decide to do a project with it dun, 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 dun. Star Wars, very, very old Star Wars. I think it's missing, like, a piece or two. Like, I don't, I almost don't want to, like, pull on this too hard because, like, I don't want to break anything. But it, it's funny because while I was at the uh, thrift shop, it worked. And then afterwards, it just, see, it's... Internally, there's something not exactly quite right, but, uh, again, it was from the outlet, so can't really go wrong with that when it's by weight. Apparently, this has, like, a battery component to it. I've, I've seen these, but I've never actually, like, seen it, seen it up close and personal, but someone's gonna like it. Maybe I'll... Do something fun. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, da -da 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 -da. It looks like this is well. This is an exact knockoff of the um, underslung dark tag. Was it the Eliminator? I think it's the Eliminator. I'm not sure off the top of my head. However, this one is a knockoff made by. Ja Ru, Clowny's favorite toy company ever because they produce garbage. But it's. <laughs> Whoops. It's like. Just that. Hear that noise. It's, hel it's funny. Again, outlet. It was cheap. Uh, it's funny. Maybe I'll use it for an integration. Not sure. Uh, okay. We'll wait. Hang on. I was about to be like, okay, so the table is cleared. No, the table is not cleared. This was found just the other day. Nerf sword. It's the blue one. It's a little banged up, like up here. And this was one of those things while I was at the outlet where it was just, um, I went through all the bins once and I didn't find anything. And then I went through again and sitting like underneath something was this. And it's just like, if at first you don't succeed... You weren't digging hard enough. <laughs> but that's the Nerf sword. <coughs> Sorry. I'm still trying to get over a bit of a cold that I've had. <coughs> Excuse me. While we're on the topic of... Because we're going to move over this way. Because <coughs> some of my top finds are over here. Um... With talking about swords, how about the machete? Like, I, I never wanted to pay full price for one of these, and I just never really saw one in the uh, thrift, so now I get to annoy the crap out of my roommate with this. Like, it's... I have a good time. <laughs> it's, um, it's funny looking. It's actually kind of comfortable, and it's curved. It's a little bent. Um, I guess that's because... Yeah, things happen. Um, rapid Strike. 
that I pulled out of the Goodwill, because it still has the Goodwill tag on it. Uh, this was just the Rapid Strike. I think the tag wasn't on it, and she's like, there's stuff missing from it, so why don't we just call it, like, $3. I'm like, that works for me. <laughs> so that was a nice uh, thing that I wasn't expecting. But nice little Rapid Strike. I do have uh, a second one. Uh... The other one I, I, I paid full price for, it was because I wanted one, and then I haven't done anything with it. But now that I have a second one, it's that logic of you, if you have a second one, then doing the next one isn't, doing, you know, modifying one isn't so bad, because if you screw it up, you have a backup. I'm going to just grab this bad boy uh, while I'm talking over here, because I want to move it around a little bit this is not necessarily nerf but this is the scepter if you've ever seen one of these you probably do um nic style or stefan blasters homemades whatever you want to call it it's 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 up to you but this uh, i don't I do. Okay, so uh, da, 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 da. this is initially, originally, a uh, paintball marker, which uses rival-like ammo, and there's a rival ball in there now. I'm gonna go ahead, and pump it real quick, and it will fire rival balls, but doesn't necessarily like the rival ball sometimes it will double feed that is going to be rebarreled um well no that one's going to fujo but uh i have another one i found two in the same day a red one and a blue one so that one is going to get rebarreled for uh slug darts uh it's a semi-automatic uh air blaster so you have a consistent power coming out of it with a high rate of fire which is just madness when it comes to the field i was over here right so timber uh red big bad bow i was very happy to find this because i like big bad bows uh i'm not i know i'm not the only one out here that likes big bad bows uh going to rebarrel this uh for uh, standard nerf darts, uh, elite darts, micros, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. Regular darts. <laughs> it's my term. I don't... It's what I say. Uh, very happy to have found that one. That one's pretty much... If I... Once I do that, will probably end up being a loner. Because I have a purple one that I did the rock barrel on. And there is just plastic all over this floor from that project which is in there somewhere okay uh speaking of in there somewhere white maverick this is not the white out maverick um and there's a lot of people who will tell you it is not a white out maverick you know what i actually happen to have a couple of freaking streamlines sitting on my desk here so i'm gonna throw these in because streamlines are useless. <laughs> and so it fires. Nice white Maverick. Picked it up because, I mean, when do you find white Mavericks? Uh, gonna just sneak this guy out. Beautiful, beautiful yellow raven. Uh, Stravens are murder. Just a uh, public service announcement. Don't do it. It's wrong. Stray, uh, Raven is... If it's not in the greatest condition. Like, if you put a mag in it, it sounds like it's trying to die. The motors are... <sighs> very old and um, beat up. But that's why we have upgrade motors and better wiring. But that is definitely not why we have a Busby... Tech 10. Uh, only reason I picked it up is because I know it was from the outlet, and uh, normally I'll let these sit on shelves just because 
you know, I just, I have an idea for something with this. I want to see if I can, like, actually improve it to elite standards of, but I highly doubt that that could be possible, but I'm willing to give it a shot. If uh, you think that's a good idea, comment section below, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, stop falling over. Reactor. Everybody. Reactors are the, one of those weird ones that, like, people will pass up on purpose just because they don't have any balls. There are modifications for this. You can put an RSCB on it. You can single it like uh, Fowler did from Blown on Earth. Um, these do have potential. You just have to know how to... Because uh, it's, it's, a, it's a... Bleh. I can talk. Essentially, it's a ham. Hand-operated pump blaster. Nerf dagger. This thing has seen very much better days. Like, it's just... It's beat to living crap. But, I mean... It goes. So that's a good thing. Uh, anyone who's seen Walcom's video will know that uh, one of these can be pretty brutal. This one currently is busted. So I will need to get in here <coughs> and figure out what is wrong with it. Can it be salvaged? Can it be fixed? And if it can, let's do something fun. Uh, da -da -da -da. Wait, not just... That was also from Blown on Earth. Okay, so I'm shouting out to the wrong people. Okay. Because I'm a smart guy. Praxis. Um, the Vortex line... It's, it's a strange line. If you're doing HVZ, grab one of the pistols. Like the Vigilon that's hiding around here somewhere. Um, because I have went to, when I was at Nations vs. Zombies, there was more than... There were a couple of people who were using the Robotics 360s. Because Vortex discs screw up timing. Your... Trying to dodge, like, dodging a dart is easier than trying to dodge a disc. Because a disc just kind of listfully floats through the air, just like, excuse me, coming through. And a dart will just, you know, power by. A couple of discs in with uh, normal darts. And everything is falling over. <sighs> Deploy! Ugh. That's all I have to say about the deploy. Right there. Mm-hmm. Bye. Okay. This one was just super weird. It's a knockoff blaster. It's like it's trying to be a night finder. Doesn't really have... It's All it says is made in China. So, I'm going to load up an Elite. Okay, Rebel. Eh. Not really the greatest of performance ever, but it looks kind of cool, and that's why I grabbed it. Uh, <coughs> that is all just going to fall out. This little guy. Uh, now this is the dart tag pistol. And this, this thing is... This thing is just so... It's kind of... It's like the reflex. I think this is the eliminator. Uh, it's just funny. It looks, it's, it's hilarious because it's super tiny <laughs> and it's still a top prime. Reverse plunger because, hi! <laughs> um, one of my most recent finds, and I found this the other day, after hitting like three weeks, two, three weeks of dry spell going out thrifting, finding absolutely nothing but junk or things that just weren't wor worth a pickup or worse than that absolutely nothing going to s stores that have been like really good to me and finding absolutely nothing uh came across a couple of things and one of them big yellow big blast i this was one of those sometimes i'll pass up this store but that day i was just like no i'm gonna no I'm gonna try this one today. 
and there sitting on the shelf was a big blast for four bucks. Hang on. Where's the... Ah! One second. Let me grab my rocket here. Uh, and everything falls over. Yes! So yes, Nerf demolisher rockets do fit on the big blast. And... So mean. So mean. These things are loved and hated in the NIC world uh, of, of uh, Stefan darts, slug darts, whatever you want to call it. It still has the sticker on it. But they're loved and hated because they hurt when they're uh, taken down to like the smaller sizes. Oh. Slang fire. Honestly, the reason why I got this <coughs> was because uh, I got this on purpose just because of the reviews that I had seen that it's that it underperforms that this is really wonky and everything like that because I do um, I do go to wars and stuff like that and then my family started getting into the idea of, yeah we should have a nerf war and I'm just like I need something that will like legitimately handicap myself so I can probably make it a little bit more fair. That sounds really egotistical now that I say it out loud. That's it's a bad idea. I just like the way they look. I just could never bring myself to pay, what was it, 25 bucks for one of these things. Just so finding it for less than half at a thrift shop, I picked it up. Oh yeah, ten bucks. There you go. All right. What else do we got? What else do we got? We got barricade. Oh, this is the one that's missing the battery door. <laughs> Barricades are really interesting, and uh, anyone who says that they don't still have a place in Nerf is wrong because I've seen people at NBZ. Um, using these, there was, um, there was a guy who did, who was part of the garage assault. If you check the upcoming video of the final mission, who has, his name is Gears, he has a sonic green barricade right up front of the horde. Well, no, it's the human force advancing into the garage. Oh no, spoilers! I'm spoiling a video. I should stop. Anyway, um, da, 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 da. oh yeah, uh, blazing bow. I don't have any of the uh, ammo for this guy, but I mean it exists. Picked it up because again it was the outlet, and it's stuff that I would normally not pick this up at a normal thrift shop. Just because of what some of the places want for some of these blasters. I mean, I've seen um, some of these blasters, like they're asking for like 10 bucks for something like that. And it's like, no, that's, no. Well, then you transit, you get it at the outlet, and it's stupid cheap. You kind of feel better about purchasing it. And so that way, the other side doesn't feel left out. Because, as I said at the end of the last in-person talkie camera video, I don't have a problem with Boomco, so I picked up the Twisted Spinner. And I gotta tell you, this thing sounds pretty nasty. And, um, is this... Hang on, let's see if we can slow this down a little bit. That is one push of the arm. Some high level math there to make sure it actually rotates the correct number of times around. Definitely going to have to play with this. I kind of like, I mean, maybe side mount that sucker onto something or top mount. And just, I don't know. 
That will need sealed up, though. Giant gap. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, now we go this way. Da 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 da. Diatron. <clears throat> I didn't know what was so interesting about the Diatron until I picked one up. Um. Oh well, here we go. Da, 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 da. I just so happen to have four discs lying around the shop because my shop is a complete and total wreck at all times. I can clean it and in like two days it's a wreck again. Prime is actually over here and then it goes back. The interesting part about it, well I mean it's already interesting, but it fires two discs at once. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but with the internal mag firing two discs at once, this thing is, is pretty neat. I don't know if it has like a real solid place in wars, but I picked it up just because, I mean, it's, obviously I picked it up, idiot. It's, your, it's in your hand, but uh, three bucks, it's pretty neat. All right. Now we get down here, and, uh, the Zeus, there is a mag for it, I just always keep all the, uh, mags in a box over there, trying to be organized, I'm not very good at it, but, uh, I put batteries in this thing, and it's currently not working as well as it probably should. I'm not sure if something's broken in it, but I mean, we're talking about Nerf motors, so it's going to end up getting gutted, rewired, and replaced. Anyway, so even if it isn't working properly off the bat, it doesn't necessarily matter. Um, here's something interesting. Here's something interesting. Uh, some people will know, well... Maybe not know what this is. Either way, this is, I've I've seen these at like Bass Pro Shop and the like. It's the NXT Generation Crossbow. Um, it's like solid plastic. This is actually pretty springy. Didn't come with any ammo again. I got it from the outlet, and I noticed that a Mega Dart will sit in there and will fire out of this thing. Which, I just actually found that out before I turned on the camera. So I was outside for a minute, playing around with the fact that this thing will fire off mega darts. Because this channel is huge. If I, I mean, here, this uh, standard blue elite, that channel is huge. Like the dart just kind of slides back and forth a bit there I mean it'll kind of fire those but they won't hold in so there's that fully I loved when I found this a fully functioning nitron for two dollars that's that was one of those like you gotta be kidding me that's a full-on nitron for Two dollars. I kind of. I'm starting to get to like the Vortex line. It's a little sad that they're completely gone at this point. But uh, cut this sucker down. Make a um, nitro pistol like uh, Nobacon did. You should check that video out. That is an absolutely insane video. Uh, just you can find it. I have faith in you. Uh, <laughs> Something that I have that uh, some people will be, uh, now, I don't know if it's jealousy. Jealousy over the price that I got it for, definitely. I was at work the one day, and one of the guys that I work with was like, Hey, I got a, 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 Nerf, a Nerf gun out in the car for you then. I'm like, alright, like I thought it was something, you know, 
whatever, and then it's this. A fully functional, completed, long strike CS6. And I'm like, how much you want for that? And he's like, I told the wife I'd get a dollar for it. I'll give you a dollar. <laughs> Tried to give him two. And he didn't want to. He's like, no, I didn't, you know, just a dollar's fine, dollar's fine. All right. Okay. Uh, let's, let's, uh, move some of this around so that way we get to Vigilon. Vigilon, what's the, the five clip in a Vigilon? Single shot. These things are nice. Basically, I got uh, a couple of these just for this. And if you've seen the Hellhound, you know why. It's a great idea. It's an. It's a, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Buzz the snipe. That's fun. Nothing else. Oh, the pocket popper double shot. This thing is hilarious. Just absolutely hilarious. Not exactly war practical, but hilarious. Uh. I don't think there's anything else to say about that. And it's on the ground. Uh, Titan. The Titan, uh, this one, I found two while thrifting. The one that's over there works fine. This one has a bit of an issue holding air. So there's something that's a miss inside there somewhere. Uh, da, 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 da. Code breaker bow, which I'm still trying to figure out how to actually like get the trigger to work because it's still locked up. I think I'm just gonna have to rip this thing apart to uh, get it to give up the ghost. Uh, da, da, da. Purple Avengers big bad bow with the uh, arms and everything complete. This one is probably staying complete. Um, not really because it's valuable, because this came out when the Avengers came out. So, but, I don't know. I think it would look good right about there. What do you think? Moving on, we get to some of the more well, we'll get past this and like two more and then we'll be into the interesting stuff. Demolisher. This is the one that doesn't have batteries. Oh. It does have batteries in it. Fully functional demolisher. I think I got it for seven bucks. Uh, nice little find. I like the demolisher. I kind of wanted a demolisher since... I saw it, and I've seen people use these at HVZs and wreck with them. It's just if you know what you're doing with it, really. Okay. XBZ. Yes, every time you hear someone talk about an XBZ, this is what they're talking about. This is the Extreme Blast Zooka still in its shell. Yeah, for $2. So... No, this wasn't even $2, because it got it out of the outlet. It was under $2. Probably, but we'll call it $2. Whatever. Weird little guy. The Maximizer 60, because there's a gigantic freaking spring in this thing. And it might have some kind of use. I am not sure yet. But, uh, I'll keep you posted. Uh, da -da -da. I found an Apollo at, oh, oh, I screwed up. <laughs> I found an Apollo and I jammed it pretty freaking hard. Yay, because I broke it. Uh, well, 
either way. Maybe there's a freaking lock in there that won't fire it while I have the clip, so. I'm gonna need to find the clip after the video. Um, now we get into the harder to find and rare find stuff that uh, you don't, you just don't, you don't find every day. Koosh uh, Vortex Tornado 2. The handle on this thing is amazingly comfortable. Action still works. I don't have any of the Koosh discs though, but this thing is just, I mean, it's in really nice condition. This is a little faded. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's just so comfortable. I want to do something with this so bad. I might end up taking the homemade internals I have and putting it in this bad boy because oh, it's so comfortable, man. It's just so nice. Look at that. Koosh Vortex Tornado 2. If you ever find one of these and you have no idea what it is, pick it up because, like, people want these. And I know I just ruined the day of some thrifter. <laughs> Who's just like, nobody ever knows what they are, so I get away with grabbing them from cheap. And, oh, I didn't even notice that that was, ooh, that's broken, is what that is on the barrel. But we have the air jet. What is this? This is the air jet power... But yeah, there's that. I didn't notice that it was busted up there. I wonder if that happened recently. Either way, not important. Uh, yeah. We're gonna go with this light storm. <clears throat> I've heard about these things. Never actually saw one. I'm a little confused. I'm going to have to do uh, uh, some research on it. Um, but if I'm right, this is a semi-auto air. Because this feels like a pump. Sounds like a pump. And then... I could be wrong. It might not be semi-automatic. You might have to pump it for every shot. But either way, I don't have a clip for it. Mag, clip, whatever. Uh, it didn't come with it. But uh, I know that they're not exactly the most common. 2000 Trendmasters Incorporated. Well, obviously not Trendmasters. Because um, this thing went nowhere. And hardly anybody knows anything about it. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, well, what's this? No, oh, that didn't work. There it is. There it is. The Batman, or uh, Bruce Wayne, whatever it is, the Tri-Blast. This has fully functioning pump. Nice, and little did I know, there's dart storage here and here and it still has a couple of the darts so that's fun nice little added bonus of darts you didn't even know were there this thing is fun like the whole um, collapsing I did this wrong no there it goes and that goes up in there this doesn't want to ever go down though so, and you hold on. And there it is. That is so silly. Hang on. I did that wrong because that's got to go in there. And then that goes in. There. That goes in. I have to do that one more time. Because that's actually kind of satisfying. You hold it up. And you... Of course, it doesn't go the whole way when I wanted to. Oh well. And I think the top find that I've ever found in terms of value, uh, Supermax, 1994 Laramie Supermax, 
I love how there's a tag on the side that says works. And yes, the auto rotate works. This thing looks like a super soaker, right? Well, it's not a super soaker. It is actually a Nerf blaster, a very early Nerf blaster. And listen, oh, so listen. That sounds vicious. Pump holds air, pump works, everything works. It's actually in really nice condition, minus the stickers. I've been told that this could fetch a pretty penny up on uh, eBay. The only problem is no darts. None, none, no darts. Um, they are a very weird caliber. Like, they're about the size of my pinky finger. So they're a fatter dart. I don't know if it's like old school. Um, and it can't even be like old school uh, megas because they're really short too. I wanted this to be a quick video. And I'm looking at my timer and I've got almost 41 minutes. So if you've stuck out this long, thank you very much for watching. I'll probably be doing another one uh, of these thrift videos in about a month somewhere around the beginning of the month. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, again, if you stuck out this long for all of the crap, and that's not even all of the crap that I found. There's a whole other bin over there. I just decided to go over some of the stuff that's actually better. Well, not better is opinional, but either way, mm. tea. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Remember, life's more fun when it's weird. Stop recording, you jerk.